Hey guys, so it's finally happened. After months of waiting, From have just released a trailer for their next game at this year's Video Game Awards. Well, this calls for a celebration. I will. Now, it's just a short teaser, and I'll go through it in detail in a moment, but it's something, and most importantly, the fact that it's been announced now suggests that a 2018 release is possible so hopefully we won't have to wait too long to play it. Okay then, onto the trailer. So most people seem to believe we're either getting a new IP or this is Bloodborne 2. I'm going to leave you guys to decide which one you think is more likely. Let me know in the comments. I'm just going to go through what I think are the most interesting aspects of the teaser and what they could mean. It's all speculation right now guys. The first thing that jumped out to me was the working title, Shadows Die Twice. We have no idea if this is going to be the final title, or even if it refers to something that's in story or in the game itself, but it did immediately remind me of some of FromSoft's past endeavours. The first was the Shadows Tower series of games. Back in the year 2000, From released a first person action RPG not dissimilar to the current Souls series to moderate success mostly in their home market of Japan. Now, Souls games are a spiritual successor to Shadow Tower, but does this really mean that we're going to get a reboot of the long-ended series? I doubt it. It just may be a subtle nod to the origins of the current success. Now, there are minor references to shadows throughout the Soul series. The ones that come to mind immediately are the shadow set worn by ninjas in Dark Souls, and the enemy type Shadows of Yharnam within Bloodborne. Are we about to see a ninja-based action RPG from ancient or mythical Japan? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so let's move on to the actual scene depicted in the trailer. So pretty much the only thing we see, front and centre, is the horrific looking contraption that is very likely a device we'll craft in the game. It, what's important is that it looks to be a combination of metal, string and bone, which makes it kind of spooky. The shot is so close up it's hard to say what the device actually does and whether it's a weapon or something we attach to ourselves, a bit like trick weapons in Bloodborne. Perhaps you can lose your limbs in the game and have to craft new ones as replacements? It also gives a new layer of meaning to the quote, shadows die twice. Is this a game where players literally have to rebuild themselves after death? Maybe, maybe not. Now, behind the object we notice there's a script with some writing which looks oriental. I say that because it looks like the characters are written top down in the eastern fashion, as opposed to left to right as we do in the west. The music in the trailer also reminds me a lot of older Japanese movies. So we might expect an eastern setting this time. Finally, there's what looks like a chisel or screwdriver which adds to the crafting vibe and not a small amount of blood on the work table. Now, much of what I've already said is speculation, but here's what we can say with a reasonable amount of certainty. Based on the overall mood, I'd say we're looking at another action RPG in the Souls mold with heavy horror elements. The bones and the blood all point in that direction. There's also likely to be a greater emphasis on crafting this time around, whether you'll be replacing your limbs with crafted items, or crafting weapons from the bodies of slain enemies remains to be seen, but it would be very cool though. Right now that's all I can really say for sure, but heck, it's just a teaser and I'm almost certainly overanalyzing it. Why don't you guys tell me what you think in the comments and we can get a discussion going. See you soon guys!